This is maybe the closest call I've ever done. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Two minutes, oh my God. Oh my God, here we go. Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I've been challenged to make a classic steakhouse dinner in only 20 minutes. I've never done this before. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I'm really up for the challenge. All right, start the clock, let's go. All right, first thing, I'm turning on my heat. I need to get it super hot to sear my steak. Next up, I have some Yukon Gold potatoes that I'm gonna dice to make mashed potatoes. If you're a little worried why I didn't peel it, don't worry about it. You can actually eat the skin on these potatoes. They're super thin, they mash right up, and they add some flavor and texture. So I'm chopping these about half inch dice just so they cook quicker. I'm gonna be doing this in an instant pot. They hold up really well to the cooking process and are easy to mash. Okay, into the instant pot. Now a little bit of water so they don't burn on the bottom. And of course, season with salt. Okay, see if our pot is hot. I'm adding canola oil. Next up, we're gonna season these beautiful steaks. It's just a New York strip, boneless, so it cooks a little bit quicker. Tons of salt, freshly ground black pepper, both sides. Okay, and we're using canola oil because it has a higher smoke point and it won't burn when we're searing our steaks. So I'm gonna add them in away from me into the pan. All right, I'm gonna let those cook for about three to four minutes per side. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start chopping some shallots. I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this menu. I was really trying to go a little crazy. Making an entire steakhouse dinner in 20 minutes is kind of crazy. Okay, I'm just thinly slicing the shallot so it cooks quicker. Add a little bit of butter. If I was doing this the traditional way without like an Instapot, a microwave for dessert, it would probably take close to an hour, definitely. These stoves suck. <laughs> These burners are like not heating up, but I knew that going into it because we're working with electric. So move on to my next step. I'm gonna heat some cream and butter and garlic to fold into our mashed potatoes when it's time. So I'm taking three huge garlic chunks and just smashing them. This is gonna help infuse a ton of garlic flavor in our potatoes. And of course, you need butter. So we'll just put that on a low heat to simmer, just to let all that garlic infuse while the potatoes are cooking. I'm saving half of the shallot to baste my steaks with when the time comes. Next up, I'm gonna grate some garlic into this for our cream spinach. I personally hate chopping garlic, and I just think this is an easier, quicker way to get all that garlic flavor without having garlic all over your hands. How much time do we have? 14? <laughs> Where did six minutes just go? Let me season my shallots with salt. Season every way. Every step of the way you need to season your dishes. Is this on? Okay, well I guess I'll move on to dessert since that's taking forever. We're making microwave lava cakes, I should tell you. So we're starting with a cake mix, just any chocolate cake. Then I'm adding a quarter cup of applesauce. And what this is gonna do is add a ton of moisture and flavor without adding a ton of fat, and then a little bit of water. Just whisk this together. Check my steak. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful, perfect. Okay. Let them cook on the other side. My Instant Pot is still not up to pressure. I'm a little worried, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Okay, so now that this is all mixed up, I'm gonna divide it in between two mugs. And then to make it a lava-like cake, I'm adding a truffle in the middle of each one, and it will create that ooey, gooey chocolate center that you're used to seeing in a lava cake. So I'm gonna put these in the microwave for about a minute. Oh, my shallots got a little too burnt, but nobody's gonna know. Adding my spinach. <laughs> All right, well, we'll come back to that. I'm gonna add some butter to our skillet, some shallot, some garlic, and some thyme. Okay, some spinach. 
I'll go more slowly this time. I got 10 minutes and that's still not up to pressure. Okay, that's cooking. I'm gonna baste our steaks with all that beautiful butter and infused flavors. Check our cakes. Maybe a little longer. I'm nervous, I'm, I'm starting to get nervous. I just spilled spinach all over the floor. My nerves have obviously gotten the best of me, but I have no choice, I have to keep going. Okay, it's up to pressure, okay, good. Now it's gonna take six minutes to cook, and then that will leave me with three and a half minutes to mash the potatoes. These burners suck. I don't know what else to say. All right, I'm just waiting for this spinach to cook down. Okay, five minutes left on the Instant Pot. I don't have much more time. I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Steaks are done. I'm gonna let them rest a little bit. Back to the spinach. Who knew spinach was gonna be the disaster in all this? This is the easiest thing to make. So I'm just trying to cook the spinach to get all the water out because we're making cream spinach and we don't want it to be water. We want it to be almost like a bechamel. So I'm just using a colander to strain all that liquid out because we don't want it. Seven minutes. Oh my, where does the time go? It was just a nine and a half. All right. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> Can you tell? Do I look nervous? Well, at least dessert's done. It needs to be plated. Potatoes are cooking. Steak is resting. I'm getting all the water out, trying not to burn my hand because it's super hot. If you had more time, normally you would let this cool for like 10 minutes so you're not burning your hand. But hey, it's the name of the game. Okay, adding in some cream. I'm gonna add some cream cheese to really thicken it up. And some Parmesan. Instant Pot has two minutes. I have 5.45. This is looking great. Let's just see if it tastes great. I honestly think we could do more cream cheese. More salt. Maybe a little more cream cheese. Five minutes, okay, okay. Let's see where we're at, let's see. Okay, I still have to mash the potatoes. I have to cut the steak and garnish my cakes. Oh, <gasps> yes, yes. Okay, this is done. This is done, I just have to plate it. Once this is done, um, releasing all the pressure, I will mash the potatoes. For now, I will garnish our cakes. Okay, dessert's done. Cream spinach, done. Open, okay. I won't cut the steak yet, I won't do it at the last minute so that all the juices get to recollect into the meat. So I'm just waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> come on, come on. Well, I'll plate this. Garnish with a little more Parmesan, because why not? Okay, come on. Lock shut, okay. I gotta cut the steak so I can mash the potatoes. This is maybe the closest haul I've ever done to it. Oh my God, okay. I feel like I'm manhandling the steak. A little more salt, why the heck not? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have like 30 seconds to mash potatoes. I better get ready. Two minutes, oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Guys, this thing's gonna kill me. I'll tell you what, these are gonna be some chunky mashed potatoes. <gasps> yes, okay. Draining, draining, draining. Okay. All right, here we go. This thing is so hot, so hot. Okay, remember when I said these are gonna be some chunky mashed potatoes? It's the only choice I have. One minute, oh my God. Oh my God, here we go! Okay, 
I really apologize to all the chefs out there because I'm being messy as hell, but I have no time. How many seconds, how many seconds, 40 seconds, okay. I just can't leave a mess, okay. <laughs> I have no idea how these taste, but I have to go, I have to go. 30 seconds, okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever made, that's for sure. But I did it, I f***ing did it. <laughs> I did it, I, it's, it's not as pretty as I wanted, but I did it and I cannot believe it. Oh my God. So I just finished cooking a steak dinner in 20 minutes. I honestly feel like I blacked out. I don't know what just happened, but there's food in front of me. So I obviously made something. It's not as pretty as I'd like. I really like to take my time with plating, but you saw, I literally have had 30 seconds to plate things. So it is what it is. It's time to dig in. So let's see how this all tastes. First up, steak. The steak is really well seasoned. It has an awesome char on the outside, but I definitely overcooked it. To be honest, I kind of forgot about it. I wish it was a little more rare, but what can you do? Let's try the cream spinach. I feel like cream spinach is either like, you either love it or hate it. It's like very polarizing. Okay, that's amazing. You can't go wrong with cream cheese, heavy cream, and Parmesan. I personally like spinach, so I love this. Super decadent, it was really good. For the amount of stress and anxiety these potatoes gave me, they better be delicious, so let's see. These are so good. You can really taste that garlic that I infused in the heavy cream, and I really don't even mind the skin on them. All right, and last up, dessert. I can see the chocolate pooling in the bottom. Oh my God, can you see it? It worked, it's like dripping out, it's perfect. The cake's amazing, it's super rich and decadent, and it has that really fun effect. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with myself after tasting it, because I wasn't really tasting as I go. I think I'd give myself an eight out of 10 on this one. All right, well, that is about it. I can't believe I did it, but I made a classic steakhouse dinner in under 20 minutes. If you guys wanna try this challenge at home, all the recipes are on tasty.co. Stay tuned for more 20 minute challenges on Tasty. I'm Kelly, and I'll see you later. Oh, yes.